day to you out there d -Light channel i hope you know that's the channel you are on t mark is my name and what we've been talking about for a couple of weeks now is retirement yes we've defined it we've asked you to take the fear out of it we've identified who is to plan for retirement and then we've also explored why people get or go into retirement this week we come down again to about thirty thousand feet above sea level we are trying to demystify and create a clear line of sight to this concept of retirement we are trying to say that there are certain myths and facts that you need to know about retirement i would like to get through this i hope in two videos but maximum of three so that once it's out of the way you can then see clearly the things that you need to do the why you need to do them the when you should do them such that ultimately you can have a more confident outlook a more confident conversation about retirement so let's get going quickly let's start with the myths myth number one is the fact that some of you hearing this are already saying i am too old to start planning for retirement listen there is a saying i've said here several times but forgive me i'm going to say it again because it bears repetition that the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago and the next best time is now it really doesn't matter whether you are a year away from retirement, five years away, seven years away, two years away, or even you are already retired. As long as you are alive, as long as you are on your feet, as long as you are well, you can still do something about retirement. And therefore, please banish that thought, banish that fear, and be rest assured that you are still able and capable of doing something about retirement. Therefore, you need to get it locked down here because somewhere down the line we will get to the diy section of this uh, series where we will teach you exactly what you need to do about retirement and i hope you will make it a date when we get to those content that will be myth number one myth number two is the opposite of what we just said which is i am too young to worry about retirement it can wait. I can wait till a more convenient time. Let me work some time first. Let me acquire some, 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 some mileage on my journey and then I can think about retirement. Hey, you better listen. You need to stop and stop now. There is no better time to plan for retirement than right now. Because now is the time when you can acquire the right habits, the right mindset, start doing the necessary things in small little bits so that by the time you are ending up in your retirement stage, you will be ready. The panic will have been gone, the plan will have been in place and then you can relax, kick up your leg and have a, an exciting time for your retirement. That will be myth number two. So what I'm saying is, you are not too young. As a matter of fact, you are just at the right point right now if you are close to the start of your career to start planning for retirement. Now, let's move to myth number three. Myth number three is that retirement planning is all about money. Wrong. Like I said in one of the videos we've shared, there was, there, there was a real life study of share retirees 1996-97 where over 50% of them died 12 months or less after retirement. Knowing the company they worked for, knowing how much they were paid, I can tell you clearly that it is not all about money. And that is why I think the second video for this series focuses on the fact that the first thing you must do is get mentally and psychologically prepared for it. Kick the fear. Kick the fear. Take it out. Because that, 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 that can overwhelm, that can demobilize, that can mess up your mood, which 
on the psychological part can get your hormones and the neurotransmitters in your system working off the hook the wrong way that can completely destroy your health and destroy your life. Therefore, it is not just about money. So, for those of you who think, okay, I have a savings, I got pension, and I, and I have this investment, and I have this plan, you probably want to pay attention to, again, the DIY section, where we'll be sharing not just the financial side, but also the non-financial side. And I hope that hits you clearly. That's number three. It is not just about money. Myth number four. My spouse will take care of my retirement. My children are my retirement plan. <laughs> I laugh. Please wake up. Those children got a life of their own. How about you? Can you take a pause? Before you give your parents a hundred naira or a hundred dollar, whichever country you are watching me from, how much have you spent on yourself? Do not let your spouse or your children be your retirement plan. It's actually a more honorable, a better place to be when you are not a burden to your children. It helps you take care of the non-financial side because they stop running. Out of the fear that every time I call grandma, every time I call my father, my mom, it's all about money, 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 money. And those young folks are also dealing with their own issues. They got mortgages to pay for, they got houses to build, they got children to send to school, they got a career to look after. There's a lot calling for money on their side. Therefore, do not make your spouse or your children your retirement plan. They are part of retirement configuration. They are bonuses when they are there, but do not make them your core retirement plan because it can be extremely disappointing. So, I've only gone through four of the myths that I want to cover. I do not like the videos being too long, so I need to pause at this point. Next week, I will take the last three of the myths and then we can move to the facts so that, like I said, once we take all this distraction out of the way, we can move to the DIY section. Again, let's know what's confusing you. Comment us if you like what we're doing. Send us some love. But more importantly, find somebody to forward this video to because I'm sure that everybody needs to hear this. We will continue the conversation next week. But until then, don't ever forget... Timak is my name, Dila is the channel, and all we are trying to do is what? Make a little difference. I hope to see you next week. Bye!